This is Andrew with PokerChipTracker.com. I'm here to show you Poker Chip Tracker Lite for the iPhone. I'm going to be doing this demo on the iPhone simulator, so um, you'll see a couple things there that are a little different than when you actually run it on the device. I'll try to explain those. Okay, so Poker Chip Tracker uh, Lite is a free app in the iPhone store that lets you basically blog about your live poker game while you're playing, um, sitting at the table. Um, so normally, uh, you see test advertisement here. Um, you'll see banner ads uh, pop up occasionally on the bottom. That's because the app is free, but it is iAd supported. Um, okay, so let me start up. You get to the uh, screen here, and this will normally show whatever sessions you've created recently. Um, so let's say you're starting a new game, and let's say it's a cash game. So you're going to click on cash game. Um, now here you've got um, your list of locations. These are poker rooms that the um, app and the website uh, PokerChipTracker.com are aware of. Um, you may find your local room in here, you may not. Um, or You can always add your own. So uh, the app is location aware, so um, you can click on the by distance uh, item right here and it ought to sort the elements, um, sort the poker rooms based on how far they are from you currently. Um, so I'm just going to pick a local poker room uh, here. Um, you can also sort by name. <clears throat> um, and if you want to add your own, you can just type it in here. Say, Andrew's Poker Room. And now you'll see that the green button at the bottom, instead of saying set location, now says add location. Because if you um, type this and add it, it'll add it to the list. But um, I'm going to go ahead and use an existing um, room. I'm going to use the Muckleshoot Casino near us up here in Seattle. Okay, now you get to set the type of game you're playing in. Um, this will show up on your game report and it also affects uh, how the hand details entries um, look. So if you pick Omaha, you're going to see Omaha hands with four cards. If you pick Hold'em, you're going to see Hold'em hands with two cards. So um, for this demo, I'm going to say let's, let's make it a no-limit Hold'em game and you enter all your blinds and everything down here. So let's make it a 2-5 uh, no limit game. And uh, I'm going to set the min and max buy-in also. You don't have to set all these fields. Um, okay, so now you've got these all set. I'm going to click set. Okay, now here's where you get to see your game report that you're building as you build it. Um, you'll see a couple things, uh, the buttons that are available on here. You've got home screen, this will take you back to your home screen, and now you can see that our, our game exists here under recent sessions. Um, I can click that session to go back to the game. Um, you can also see there's an image that's um, been put in already, and some of the casinos we have images for, some of them we don't. Um, Muckleshoot, we happen to have a, an image here which is built into the app and downloaded from the website. So. Um, if you want to change this image, you can go to Edit, and then um, you can choose an image from the library, or if you're on an iPhone, um, you'll have an option to take a photo. Um, I'm not going to do that. I want to use the stock image that's here. Um, at this point, I can also change any of these fields up here I want about the game. So if, let's say, I, I didn't mean to put no limit hold'em, I meant to put limit hold'em, I can click on that and change it if I want. Uh, <clears throat> okay. So... Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to add our buy-in for the game. So let's say we just started a live cash game. We're going to click Add down here to enter our buy-in. Um, this lets us set the time of when we bought in in case we did it. We forgot to buy in, uh, forgot to put our buy-in entry. We can do it now. Um, okay, this defines what type of entry you want to make in your, your game report. So um, we're going to choose the first one, which is uh, the buy-in. Um, use this if you buy into a game or rebuy um, into a cash game or a tournament. Um, okay, now you get the game entry form. A um, couple things here. You Again, you have an image you can set for the game entry. Um, this time, um, we're on the iPhone simulator, so there aren't any images available. But normally, you could pick them out of your library, or you can use your camera. Um, I personally like to take uh, pictures of my chip stack for each entry. Um, but you can take pictures of whatever you like. Um, okay, so let's say we bought into the game for $500. Um, and you also have the ability to, to add some notes here. So if I wanted to add some notes, um, you know, uh, let's say uh, uh, looks like a tight table. 
and now I can save this. <coughs> this will take us back to our game entry, and now we have our, our to our game view, and we have uh, our game entry here. There's no image on this one. Um, these definitely look a lot better when you've got images on all your entries. But so you can see now we've got this entry in the table. If I want to delete this entry, I can go to edit. It'll show me a little delete button. Um, I can also swipe left, uh, clicking. Uh, it's hard to do. There you go. Um, and that'll let you delete the entry, but I don't want to do that. Um, okay, but let's say I didn't really want these notes. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. <coughs> okay. Um, so if you don't have notes on an entry, you won't see them. Um, okay, so now other types of game entries we can add. Let's say we Another one, um, the most common entry I make when I'm playing is uh, chip count. <clears throat> so all this does is it lets me record what my current chip count is um, and you know an image with it and some notes with it, um, just like the buy-in entry. Um, and now you have another entry here at the bottom. Um, OK, then the more interesting uh, type of entry you can make here is going to be a hand details. Now this is where I want to record something that happened in a hand. Um, <clears throat> so my hand is on the left, my opponent's hand is on the right. Um, currently it only allows you to show one opponent, um, so if you've got more opponents you can either just leave this blank or whatever you want to do. Um, you can enter the player name here, so I'll say Andrew, um, and uh, you can leave the uh, set the opponent's name if you know his name or whatever you want to call him. Um, you can set the number of chips you started the hand with. Um, and the number of chips the other guy started the hand with. Okay. Um, again, you have a notes field down at the bottom. You can you can store notes if you want to. Okay. Now I want to record the details of the hand. So um, you have all the cards here. Um, you currently uh, set these one at a time. So let's say I had pocket aces. Um, I click on the card, and it's going to bring up this view. Um, I have the suits at the bottom. If I want to change the suits of the cards. Uh, let's say I had the Ace of Diamonds, and I'm just going to click on the Ace of Diamonds, and now it shows up there. Um, and for this card, let's say I had the Ace of Spades. So let's say I had Pocket Aces, and let's say my opponent had Pocket Eights. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now at any point, I could save this and come back to it later. Um, you'll see the entry for the hand details here. Um, but I'm not done with this. Let's say I want to put a flop and I turn it over. So um, I just click on one of the cards in the flop, and let's say there was a five and a six and a seven. Okay. Um, so it seems you know it's pretty obvious. You you click on a card to enter the card details. Um, again, if you want to have notes, um, type the notes. Okay. So let's say I'm just going to save this this entry. <coughs> Uh, now, the last entry you're going to make um, for your game uh, is going to be either a cash out or a bust out. So bust out means you went broke. So maybe you got knocked out of a tournament or um, you left a cash game without any money. Um, obviously not good to do that, but uh, okay. Um, or you could cash out. So let's say you cashed out of a tournament by making it into the money or you um, <coughs> are playing in a cash game and you, you leave the game. So Let's say I'm, I'm going to record a cash out. Again, you get to store an image with each of these. <coughs> Let's say I cashed out for $1,200. Um, and I'm going to save this. OK, now I've got my whole game report. Um, I don't have a whole lot of images in here. It would be better if I did, but I don't. Um, OK, so what do, we, what do we do now? All right, we finished our game report. Now I'm going to click on Send down here. Now, the default settings um, are going to uh, send your game report to the PokerChipTracker.com server, um, and they're going to let you—they're going to create an email, and in the email, there's a link right here, which is going to go to that game report on the server. Um, you can send this email to whoever you want, or you can just cancel it and delete it if all you really wanted to do was update the game report that's on the server. Um, so I'm just going to cancel this for now. Okay. So you'll notice that it said um, uploading when I clicked send. So that's uploading the game report. This can take a while if you have a large game report with lots of graphics um, because it's sending those all um, 
as one big HTML file to the server. Now, let's say, for, for example, um, I don't have an internet connection at the time. Um, I'm just going to go back to my settings. And let's say that uh, I was going to put in airplane mode. We don't have airplane mode because we're on the simulator. OK. So instead, I'm just going to disable my um, wireless interface card on my laptop that I'm working on. And I'm going to launch this again. OK, now I'm going to try sending this. Um, and I don't have an internet connection, so it's going to fail. OK, so I get this error that says the internet connection appears to be offline. And it says, we were sorry, but we were unable to send your game report to the server. It'll be attached to the email. So what happens now is instead of uploading the game report and having a link, um, the game report is an attachment to the email right here. Um, again, I'm not going to actually send this email to anybody, but I could. Um, I'm going to cancel this again. <clears throat> so you'll notice, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn my network connection back on. Okay, so you'll notice once you send a game report and it's uploaded to the server, um, you will have this button on the bottom that says View Game Report. So I can click on this. Um, and I'm going to reload this because I had a different game report there before. Okay, so now you have a browser um, launched on your actual game report, which is on the server. Um, here you can see the details of your report. Um, you'll see the information that the app actually stores about that specific casino. It has the address and the, the website. Um, it has the game information that you entered. Um, it'll have any other images that you put on your entries. We didn't have any images. And it has each of your entries at the time they occurred including here's our little hand details where the guy had pocket eights and I had pocket aces. We didn't really say what happened after that. but um, And that's pretty much it. You're, um, OK, so we're going to close this, um, go back to our app. OK, some other things to notice um, here. So you'll have the, you'll have the, uh, the game right here. Um, if you create a tournament entry, um, it's very similar. Um, you'll see, uh, I'm just going to pick a random casino. Instead of the other uh, entries with the blinds, you have your buy-in, your house fee, um, starting chips, level duration, um, and you'll see the, uh, those things show up in your game report. Everything else is the same. Um, the other thing I want to show you is on your settings menu, um, there's some things you can configure. Um, you go to the poker CTL entry on your settings. Um, okay, so you've got two entries here. So one of them um, is whether or not you want to upload your reports to the server. So if you set this to no or off, um, then it's always just going to attach your reports to an email. It's never going to try to send them to the server. Um, but it's much cooler if they're hosted on the server. Um, you also have the shrink images. Um, because the game report is sent as one large HTML file um, with embedded images in it, some browsers can't view um, large embedded images, specifically Internet Explorer. Um, so, in order to um, get past that problem, we send smaller images. If you're working with a browser that can handle larger embedded images, like um, the default browser Safari on the Mac, um, then you can set this to off and you'll get much larger images. It'll also take a lot longer to send your file to the server because it's a lot bigger. So, do what you want there. Um, okay, that's all I had to show you today, and I hope you guys enjoy it. And again, you can um, find more details about Poker Chip Tracker Lite at PokerChipTracker.com. Thank you.